Bonds. Let's talk about the response of market participants. You will know from watching a programme like this, many of them who are along the market have this belief that we'll get this fiscal stimulus, these infrastructure plans, and this hope that we wouldn't get the stronger views of the President on things like immigration, on trade, become a reality once he got to the White House. As you woke up this morning and you looked at the markets, which were, to be fair, pretty stable, do you think market participants need to rethink that approach? Oh, look, each market participant will have to make uh, their own judgment. Uh, I am a bit fearful that what we're seeing in markets uh, is a sugar high. That doesn't mean that they can't go higher. That doesn't mean it can't happen for quite a while. I'm the last person to claim to be able to, uh, to time uh, markets. But it does seem to me that there's a kind of euphoria that assumes that tax policy is going to pass fast. I suspect that's going to be uh, very difficult. That confidence is going to remain strong. I'm not so sure with erratic actions like the ones that we saw. And that provocations to the world aren't going to be responded to. And I'm not sure that's a, a good bet uh, either. So I am uh, nervous that it's a kind of uh, sugar high in markets. But again, that's not a judgment that can be a basis for uh, near-term uh, investing. What I think is a clear error is to confuse uh, several months of strong markets with strong fundamentals. You know, the period uh, post-election when markets did best in the 20th century was the period between Herbert Hoover's election and his inauguration. And of course, as a presidency, that was the biggest economic disaster that we had. Well, Larry, so I, just pick you up I don't know what's going to happen think, next really in markets, but nobody should be serene Your point just because markets are behaving well. Your point on price, Larry, do you think price is setting the narrative? Oh, you know, different people, different people are responding to uh, different, uh, na different narratives. Uh, for many, what's uh, setting the narrative is frankly fear about what their country uh, might become. Now look, this might all get cleaned up. The new administrations always have uh, growing pains. I think we're gonna know a lot more a week from now when we see whether the administration recognizes that this was uh, chaotic, costly, and counterproductive um, or whether they decide to double down on uh, this kind of uh, thing and continue to make policy in this way. I think we'll know more um, a week from now, and that will either be cause for reassurance or uh, cause for greater alarm. I mean, nobody should make the mistake of making a definitive judgment about an administration on the basis of what happens one week in. Right. At the same time, no one should make the mistake of not taking seriously uh, what's happened over the last week.